So this is compression of the median nerve. You have a carpal ligament and you have a carpal bone. The nerve is between the two and is getting compressed. This is why the sensory and the motor skills kind of get either impaired or damaged. So most treatments apply or they give people antispasmodics. So they'll get like injections or some people just actually go get the surgical division. But being that you want an alternative, I got something for you. Number one, pay attention to your kidneys. You want smooth functioning kidneys, any type of uric acid, any type of debris that needs to come out that can potentially crystal, uh, crystallize or remineralize somewhere else. Make sure that your kidneys and your adrenal glands are fully open by, you can consume um, nettles. Um, that would really help to get everything flowing right in and out. But for a tea that you can drink, chamomile, hops, and valerian. You should drink one cup of that two to three times a day and that should help out. But honestly, you need to make sure that you're dieting properly. Like I said before in previous videos, if you're going to eat meat, you have to eat two to three as much times as vegetables, well, leafy greens to be exact, if you're going to eat meat. You should have 80% of your diet be fresh produce, including fru uh, fruits and vegetables. Do not be a stranger to cold pressed fruit juice and or vegetable juice. Do not be a stranger to Celtic salt or pink Himalayan salt inside of your water the size of a sesame seed. Do not be a stranger to stretching and getting physical therapy as far as massages and doing pressure point or trigger point therapy as well. All of these things play a factor into what you're going through. Now, let me give you the greatest power and resource of all that will really help you out on this journey. Psalms 34 verses 17 through 18. It says the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all of their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. You may be down. You may be in a situation to where I've been suffering with this carpal tunnel for so long. I've been suffering with this pain for so long. I have no hope. I'm, I'm full of boundaries. I'm full of limitations. Lean on that word. You lean on that word and couple everything that I told you with that and watch how God moves in your life. As we all know, faith without works is dead. So you can have as much faith if you want. But if you're not working towards the goal, you yield no results. Good habits have good results. Bad habits have victims. But I truly hope this helped y'all. God bless you. Have a great one.